know kids love to cook, right? Well, now they know how to. Kids Cook, a local food education program, teaches kids about nutrition, all the while learning how to actually prepare the food they're learning about. Here with more on the program and how kids are learning from it is Mary Meyer. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having you me. Bet. You know, I've never heard of this program. Tell me about it. Well, Kids Cook is an awesome program that I am so privileged to be a part of. And specifically, we're an elementary and middle school nutrition, food, and physical activity program. Okay, okay. And what made you guys decide something like this needs to happen? Well, there were several people involved in the making of Kids Cook, and we just felt like there were generations of non-cooks, and we were preaching nutrition, and it wasn't working. Right. And you so, can't preach nutrition if you don't teach them how to make nutritional meals. Exactly. So you guys decided we need this program. How does it work exactly? Where did the kids come from? Okay, well, we're in 16 different schools. Okay. APS, Rio Rancho, and a few charter schools. And when we take on a school, we cook kinder through fifth grade, and we integrate the lesson according to grade level. Okay. And so the kindergartners are learning, and the fifth graders are becoming masters. Yeah, and that's great, because you do need these skills as you get older, and why not start young? Absolutely. And that way they learn, you know, as they get older, they know what's good to eat and maybe what to avoid that's maybe not great for their health. Kids come home and become advocates for change at home. That's true. That's true. It's Absolutely. really exciting. So how does this work? Do they have to sign up or is it like a cooking class at their school? So we work in the school for the whole year. There's okay. eight lessons that every grade receives. So a total of about 13 hours. And teachers, we collaborate with teachers and parent volunteers. So every unit that we cook, a schedule goes up and the teachers sign up to what fits their schedule. Oh, okay. And then we work that whole unit until all that grade has been taught, and, or all those units, and then we move on. Okay, can you name a few dishes that you guys have taught so far? Well, um, we just cooked a Southern African American meal. Oh, wow. We cook from around the regions of the United States as well as the um, world. Okay. And right now we're finishing up the regions of the United States. Um, we're cooking a Pacific Northwest. Dish. Okay. That's neat. So you give them also a lesson in culture as well. Absolutely. That's great. So tell me, you guys are, it's a nonprofit, right? Kids Cook is a not for profit. Okay. We've been around 15 years and we're 100% grant funded. Okay. So that's where you guys get your money from, from grants. Yes. Okay. And how's that going so far? Well, excellent. We're 15 years strong and our major funding source is USDA. SNAP Education. Okay. An absolutely amazing national program that just deserves right. recognition and support from all New Mexicans. I have to ask you, what kind of impact do you think this kind of program has on the kids, especially so young? It has an amazing impact. We collect a lot of data through surveys with teachers, principals, and parents, mm -hmm. and we also collect anecdotal quotes and stories. I would read you one if you want to hear it. Yeah, go it's ahead. It's really um, something. This was from a mom who wrote, Kids Cook has absolutely been wonderful for my child. It offers an integrated approach through cooking that combines multicultural perspective and technologies. I have also appreciated the teamwork promoted through the program. And lastly, the recipes have been excellent. Some of our favorite recipes, lentils with yogurt bread, Mediterranean pasta, uh -huh. we will be cooking in a little bit, and so much more. Great program. Thank you so much. And that's the thing is you teach the kids at, at school, they take the dishes home, and they make them for their family. Well, we teach it at school. Parents come and volunteer at okay. the school. That's neat. And we send recipes home with every unit that we teach. Okay. And okay. last year on a survey, 62% of our families tried kids cook meals at home. That's great. Now you have a couple of students here. Let's take a shot of them really fast. We have Maxwell and Taylor over here. What are you guys going to be whipping up for us today? We're going to be making a rotini um, with, with tomato olive sauce and a Mediterranean salad. You guys look like you're pretty, pretty good there in the kitchen. You know your way around the kitchen, huh? Yeah. Yeah? So what's your favorite dish to whip up, Maxwell? Mm -hmm. Um. I prefer um do this is um 
but in my f I like doing this as well, but uh, I did love doing um, that yogurt, um, the yogurt bread and the salmon cakes. Oh, that was yeah. fun. That sounds good. Taylor, what do you like to cook? Um, well, right now um, in this unit we're cooking focaccia bread and I really, I really like that one. Too. Wow. You know what I like to cook? Peanut butter and jelly. Because <laughs> that's pretty easy. <laughs> now they're going to be on a little bit later on. They're actually going to be cooking for us a little later. I want to ask you, you mentioned that only um, 16, you're in 16 schools right now. How can, if a parent says, you know what, we need this in our school, how can they get you guys there? Well, um, by contacting us, the, really the conversation needs to start with the school administration and myself. Okay. Um, so the conversation usually starts with a parent going into the school saying, you know, I heard about this program, yeah. I really would like it. You know, what would it take for us to get it? And then having that conversation with the school. And then, of course, additional funding. That's it. We need more money, right? <laughs> I want to thank you so much, Mary, for joining us. Again, you're going to be here with the kiddos, right? Cooking up um, a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. So stick around for that. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back.